Yeah, my opponent always likes to mention how long I've been in the Senate. She doesn't seem to be troubled by the fact that Joe Biden's been in Washington 47 years. Under her proposal to limit terms, Joe Biden would have been leaving the Senate at the time I got there. So I'm uh, amused by her advocacy for a position on term limits that would have eliminated Joe Biden's career before I even got uh, to, to the Senate. Look, the question is, who can be effective for Kentucky? There are four congressional leaders. I'm the only one not from New York or California. I allow Kentucky to punch above its weight. What does it mean to Kentucky? Over the last term, my last term, $17.5 billion for the Commonwealth that would not have been there had I not been the majority leader of the Senate. I give Kentucky an opportunity to punch above its weight on national issues and to bring home things for this state that it would not otherwise get. Senator, thank you. And a rebuttal from Lieutenant yeah. Colonel Senator McConnell McCarthy. likes to talk about Kentucky punching above its weight. Uh, here in Kentucky, we know, we feel like we've been sucker punched. We have the highest cancer rates in the country, highest rates of diabetes, highest rates of heart disease, some of the lowest wages in the country. Our economy is, it hasn't been this bad since the Great Depression. Mm. I, it's, it's just unbelievable. And, and if Senator McConnell would love to talk about term limits, I would love to talk about it. Because you know what? President Trump is for congressional term limits. It's top on his agenda. And I agree with him on that. We should have them and we should get them right now. Senator McConnell? Yeah, let's just take opioids, for example. $275 million that I directly brought into Kentucky for the opioid fight. $87 million of that was the largest grant the University of Kentucky has ever gotten. All of that was the outgrowth of two bipartisan bills uh, passed, one of them back during the last two years of President Obama that I negotiated with him called the 21st Century Cures Act. Then the uh, CARES Act came later and all of that I was deeply involved in negotiating that produced extraordinary results for the right. Commonwealth. And meanwhile, Time. you want to take away health care and Medicaid expansion, which covers 50 percent of, of Kentucky's Kentuckians who are addicted right now and getting them the treatment that they need. I mean, it's, it's, it's just ridiculous. I'll give you a few seconds, Senator, if you want to respond to that. That was a little bit out of order in time. You mean to her yes. ridiculous comment? Yes. <laughs> no. All right.